although my experience is short and I'm new to this task, I have in my predecessors an example I can follow with certainty and confidence. Bangagi laba la bete batal bab. It's about 70%. When you speak to the people, you can feel that uh, the people are living under a poverty line. Uh, and then you see sometimes that uh, you wish to help them, but uh, funds are always uh, not enough. You're not going to find multiple bodies dead on the street. Yes, it is violent. Yes, it is brutal. But where the real control is actually exercised is in more subtle ways. So as a tradition is being used to manipulate the unsuspecting population of this country. It's a way of showing their respect and showing love uh, to their king and to their country. He is kind of a role model. For him to have many wives, it makes us feel comfortable to have many wives. Because you feel like a king? Yeah. You find large expenditure going to the army and to the other security forces. You begin to think that perhaps the army, more than protecting the state, is, is being used to actually put down any dissent internally. We have been born out of a society that encourages you not to challenge, not to question, don't be problematic. Then you will survive. We seek a constitutional multi-party democracy that is deepened within the wishes of the majority and the people of Swaziland. <laughs> What can make the king change is mass mobilization of sources. It is the only tool that can make him change. The tool of imparting information 